Well, that was your first mistake. You see, department stores are designed on the premise that people naturally travel in a clockwise direction. Go counterclockwise and you'll spend less money. Huh, maybe. Ooh, I got a trophy. I'm James. All right, James, come in. Sit down over there. James Harris? Yes. I want a signed contract, not tickets to hear somebody cry in Italian for three hours. Get Stephen on the phone. Stephen's yes. in um, London, sir. It's Christmas Eve there. Did I bloody ask you what time it was in London? Now, what if, instead of paying for things with money, you could tell the cashier a story that you've never told anyone before? And the crazier it was, the more stuff you could buy. Would the story have to be true? 100% or else you get tased. No, wait. If the tomb is there, we take it, right? That's why we operate. You saw her heart. The damage is already done. I'd have seen it on the MRI, and it never opened her up. And you're OK with that? That, there. What's the problem with you people? Don't you know what a penthouse is? I do not want a pillar obstructing my view. I, I'm afraid that's just not possible, sir. I, I mean, we, we could do it, but we'd have to change the five floors underneath. Well, it just so happens that I own those five floors and all the bloody floors beneath them. I have Stephen on the phone for you, sir. Yeah, Stephen. Due to unforeseen financial constraints placed upon Pavlik Energy, uh, reorganizations become necessary, which results in the termination of James Harris. Here and whoa, 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 whoa. I, I'm getting fired? No. <laughs> Laid off. But it's Christmas Eve. Hey, Turk, what's up, buddy? What? Six to eight weeks? Oh, my God. What am I going to do for a running back? Just coming aboard. Come on, guys, hurry up. Uh, just chill, guys. It's Christmas. Oh, come on, guys. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Come on, Jacob. Jim, we're all friends here. What about Jacob? There's no way he could. I'm sorry. Oh, come on, Jacob. Okay, hurry. Sorry, boys, got a transport. Oh, well, well. It's Dr. Roberts. Nurse Ratchet. Wait a minute. Isn't that. But don't worry. She'll be out cold for another two hours. And some poor nurse will have to break her the news because you will be long gone. Yeah, she's supposed to be out in 30 minutes. I should be there in 26. Assuming the subway is on time and the crosswalk signals are still set for commuter flow. I don't want to hear that right now. Listen, it's Christmas Eve. We'll do it after the new year, OK? We'll have lunch, then we'll let the new guys introduce themselves, and I'll cover the comp. Hey, quick question. I'm down on running back. Who would you take, Moreno? Hello? Can you hear me? And, sir, I just thought I'd remind you, it's your son's birthday. Um, and, and it's Christmas. 
Should I send him a gift in your name, maybe? Just... Reading my mind already. <laughs> ¿Dónde está la Virgen? Háblame, Lupita, ¿dónde estás? On the roof? Or like, on the floors and stuff? Maybe just in the fish tank, like a, a little each day, just mm -hmm. like, you know, a... <laughs> But you know your fingernails grow for like a year after you're dead. Actually, that's a myth. As the body decomposes, the skin recedes, making it appear as if the nails are growing. But they're not. Was that the Brainiac or the Queen Freak? I think it was the Brainiac. Mm. The proper term for clean freak is obsessive compulsive, used primarily as an adjective, but sometimes as a noun. So I wash my hands a lot. You should thank me. <laughs> this is getting freaky. Dude, hey, dude, it's me. Yeah, what's going on out there, man? You're kidding me. The whole city? What are you telling me? Zombies. I knew it would always end up like this. You getting your face ripped off by bikers and me stuck in an elevator with, hold please, what's your name? Dimples. You said dimples to me? Interesting. Dimples and I'm stuck with her. And it would appear that we may just be the last man and woman on Earth soon. <laughs> great power does come with great responsibility. You know what, Stu? This doesn't make any sense, man. You know why? Because I don't get cell reception in elevators, which means this conversation isn't happening, which means texting probably doesn't work either. Hmm. Hi. Do you know how long it's been? Since I fell in love. Since the elevator stopped moving. 10 minutes, maybe? 1138. 41. Hey, you live in 42? Hey, you live in 43? Uh, yes, I live in 43. I thought that Snake Charmer lived in 43. No, he's in 53, next to the clogger. The clogger? That's right. So how long you lived here? Four years. <whistles> you? I don't live here. I pop in, I make a difference, I pop out. But I'm not afraid of commitment either. You know what I heard? I heard that if you make it to five years, this building does something super dope for you. That they turn your hot water on for an entire day. So, I should probably swing by and use your shower. No? Are you all right in there? 
Bastante bien. Somebody away. Okay. I can find my Guadalupe. You're right, sir. Hello? Anybody? I'm stuck in the elevator! You gotta help me! I'm pregnant! I'm a pregnant woman! I'm about to have my baby in the elevator! If you don't come right now, I'm gonna... My water just broke! You gotta help me, please! Yeah, you want to help me out here? <clears throat> Ex-employees shall not infringe upon the workspace of company, nor use its resources, tools, or services at any time. I get it. You're pissed because I laid you off. Ex-employees shall be barred from association with current employees on company property. Well Whether or not such interaction is at the invitation of a current employee. Listen, bro, it's Christmas Eve. I don't want to be in here any more than you do. Why don't you help me get us both out of here? Get out and go where? I don't have a job, remember? You think I enjoy laying people off? No, firing people. You fired me. You want to think I'm evil? Go ahead. I'd like to think of you as human. I really would, but when you can't spare fantasy football for five minutes to square up with a guy whose life you just turned upside down, well... Then you seem more like the spawn of Satan himself. You never played fantasy football? No, I'm not a loser. Oh. Okay, thank you. It's a power outage. Oh. They're working on it. Five minutes at the most. Walt, if you don't stop elbowing me, I'm gonna kill you. Well, you hear that, everybody? Give Queen Dawn her precious space. Up yours, Up. Walt. Can you just be quiet a minute? I'm, I'm trying to make this There's no call. service in here. Hey, hey, sis? Uh, if you get this message, it's, it's mortar. I'm uh, stuck in an elevator with the orchestra. I think we're all... Oh, oh, come on, Marta. Shut the hell up. Hey, that was uncalled for, Walt. You shut up yourself. <laughs> you just told Walt to shut up. I was shutting up the shutter upper. It's different. What if we missed the entire Christmas concert? I wouldn't care if I never played another concert in my entire life. Oh, come on. Why you, you don't say mean that? that. Oh. Oh, seriously? Oh. oh. God, who did that? Nice try, Walt. I'm so backed up right now, I couldn't fight to save my life. Whoever did the deed, I hope you die a long and painful death. Ow. I think I just threw up. Oh, well, what's that on my neck? Is that throw up on my neck? It's probably just sweat. I said, Marta. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. How can you not know whether or not she threw up? It's your own sweat. Back off. Hey, relax, kid. Bring it, bad hey. boy. Here. My beauty can never be too careful. Yes, again, cakes, in the business of cakes. You don't work for the government. What are you, an attorney? What are you, a private detective? 
Do I look like a private dick? I wouldn't say private. Paralegal. I was wondering. You know. Did... I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. You should go. Well, I was just gonna say maybe you should try yelling or jumping up and down or something. I don't know. Really? I was gonna say that code is totally wrong for you. Are you a fashion critic now? No, it's deeper than that. I'm a deep guy. No oh, thanks. You ever pour crackle all over a scoop of ice cream? I don't know. Well. You're the ice cream. And that coat, it's your shell. It's your hiding place. Well, if you can tell I'm trying to hide, I must not be doing a very good job of it. Why would you possibly want to hide how beautiful you are? I mean, what are you afraid of? Little old me? <laughs> Wait, I got it. You're an only child, right? You're a sorority girl. And I have it. Just like mommy was. And then you went to law school and you thought you'd met Mr. Wright, but he dumped you final semester when he realized he could be the next wolf of Wall Street. He managed to graduate, but oh, you were so distraught you just couldn't pass the bar. And so you told all your friends that you're a lawyer, even though really all you do is work for one. Here comes my favorite part. That's why I saved it for last. I can't wait. You've always wanted to be a cheerleader. What are you doing? I'd like to take a picture of you. Stop! Hey, Come on. stop! Show me what's under that shell. Stop! Show me some emotion. Yeah, that's it. We're in the surgery wing. Headed down to recovery on the third floor. How can that be? This is a hospital. Got it. There's a glitch with the backup generators. Should be 10 or 15 minutes. You better hope it's fixed before Sleeping Beauty wakes up, or one of you's gonna have to tell her the truth. The truth is a cardiac liposarcoma. Nothing anybody could have done about it, except God. She had that base covered. How's that? She asked me to pray with her before surgery. And? Maybe we should jump up and down to get it going. Yeah. yeah. No. Hmm. No. Oh. oh. Well, I'm Molly. I've been sober for 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, I was uh, headed to eat Chinese with my BFF, Sherry. Mm -hmm. But we'll tell you about herself in just a minute. Uh, I'm a Sagittarius. And I'm allergic to peanuts, mm. which is rare to be a Sagittarius and allergic to peanuts. Mm. I'm Sherry, rhymes mm -hmm. with canary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in a past life, I was a cyberkinetic force of unknown origin, but in this life, I'm a poetry major, <laughs> which means I pay the rent by testing cosmetics, which is why my face is kind of puffy today. Don't stare. I am Nick. I'm an art curator. I was supposed to lead the benefit tour of the abstract exhibit at the Met tonight. Just me, in New York's leading lights. Yeah. Instead, I get to spend it with four strangers who clearly wash their hands less than three times a day. That's the national average. I know. My name is Glenn. I'm Tim Giles. And first off, cyberkinetic forces, if they exist at all, have origins as definable as any other, unless they lie outside the realm of time and space, which is impossible. Secondly, I don't buy that you're going out for Chinese. Not in those shoes. Oh, well, uh, we're headed to a salsa bar to dance with 
illegal people. It's, it's our little Christmas charity. Mm. So, <clears throat> sue us. It's not a winnable case. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Why so serious, huh? <laughs> we got a party here. Looking good. Stop! Say what you're gonna say. We got a problem to get you out of there. I know this. You're faster. We got people stuck in elevators all around the block. Your van severed their main power line. I screw the boots. Yeah, you did. But your van is also connecting the two halves of the backup line. The reason those elevators haven't fallen to the ground is because your van is conducting electricity to their emergency brakes. What are you gonna do? We're gonna dig down either side of you, splice a line around your van, lift you up and get you out of there. Hope it works. Me too. Can I get you anything else? Yeah. I wanna see my senora. Guadalupe. My Rio, senor. A gunshot? <laughs> I don't think so. No. But if we did have a gun in here, would that help us get out quicker? Tell them we'll shoot a person every hour until they rescue us. No wonder you're a drummer. You're so aggressive. Ten more minutes. More or less. They're working on it as fast as they can. Let's pry the doors open. We could shoot them open. I never want to see that gun again. <sighs> Rotate. Starting the hallelujah chorus about now. I'm gonna sleep. Why would you say that? You're one of the world's most accomplished violinists. I'm one of the world's most bored violinists. I wanted to be a dancer. Then why aren't you? My mother made me give it up for the violin. I gotta admit, playing dead guys' compositions over and over again kind of bums me out. Mozart, Bach, Handel. Those guys have got more control over my life than I do, and they've been dead for over 300 years. You know, when I was a little girl, I used to dream of playing for the Queen of England. I taped a picture of her to my bedroom wall and practiced in front of it. Two years ago, there she was, sitting in our audience. When I warm up before a concert, I do it exactly the way my father taught me. It's like a prayer to him. I like boy bands. Please tell me that wasn't Dawn. She's got a gun. She can like you wherever she wants. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I said I was sorry. I didn't mean to freak you out. Now, how long has it been since we got stuck in here? Two hours. It's the only elevator in the building, right? Yeah. So they got to know that we are still stuck in here! I'm not an only child. What? I'm not an only child. I'm the middle of five. My dad was a janitor, but I did have all the aspirations of the rich kids. Debate club, early graduation, and the whole bit. But as soon as I got accepted, 
to Princeton and Yale and Harvard. I realized I just, <laughs> I really didn't want to go to any of them. It was, I don't know, I was just completely burnt out. So I stayed home. I went to a couple community college classes I'm not even a paralegal. Uh, lies. I just make copies and coffee. Speaking of which, I'm really hungry. <laughs> Do you have anything in these bags? I don't know. Make you a deal. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Here's the phone, can you hold? No, I can't. I What do you think the problem is? I'm stuck in this damned elevator. Yeah, I see that. Uh, we're dealing with a situation down here. I'm gonna check it out as soon as possible. I'm really sorry about that. You've just spoken four complete sentences without providing one drop of pertinent information. I already realize my elevator has a situation and you being sorry in and of itself is not pertinent. You're checking out the problem is not pertinent. I doubt that you are even pertinent. But whoever you are, you better get this elevator moving in one minute, or I will find you, fire you, and then make sure that you are fired from your next three jobs after that. Is that pertinent enough for you? Hello? Hello? For two hours. What's going on? It can't be that hard to reset the system. Don't let him get to you, Doc. The idea of a higher power helps someone, then it's great. Personally, I don't buy it. You don't buy it or you don't buy that anyone should buy it. I don't like to see good people get hurt putting faith in things that aren't real. Did you get hurt, Doc? It's just not real. A heart transplant's real? Of course they are. Now. They were only imaginary a few decades ago. So if we wait long enough, then anything can be. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. I think we might have killed the backup system. If ever there was an argument against intelligent design? Okay, I'm gonna pretend that I didn't see that. Can 
Can you please stop doing that? Hey, we're stuck between the 15th and 16th floors. We're aware of that. So the logical solution is to lower us half a floor by accessing the reserve cable. There's no such thing as a reserve cable, but nice try. But don't patronize me. We all have the same problem. One problem. Increasing the ratio of problem solvers to said problem inevitably improves our chances of solving that problem in less time. Sir, we are working very Possibility hard. Possibility number one. A secondary source of power, as evidenced by the backup lights, is available. And while probably insufficient to simultaneously power every elevator in the building, might be fed exclusively to one. Seven and a half billion people in the world, and you managed to piss off the one man who could possibly help us. There are only 7.163 billion people in the world. Point taken. It was dark. It was misty. It was no night to be running out of gas on a lonely country road. The husband locked his wife in the car while he went for help. But when he came back, she was dead. And there was someone he'd never seen before in the car with her. The doors had not been opened. The windows had not been rolled down. The car. It was a baby. Why can't you take a picture of an Indian woman with hair curlers? You need a camera to take a picture, not hair curlers. Take an empty wine bottle, drop a coin in it, and put a cork in the top of the bottle. How can you get the coin out without removing the cork? There's no such thing as a question without an answer. You might not know it now, but it's out there, waiting to be found, wanting to be found. It's almost always simple. So simple, it's almost silly. And when you find it, well, there's no feeling like it in the world. My wife's gonna kill me. My dad's gonna kill me when he finds out I was fired. Laid off. He's a big time developer. All he cares about is work and money. He's building a skyscraper with a five floor penthouse just for him. You know, I've had to lay off 238 people since I started this job. I have a list at home of everybody I've ever laid off. I don't know why I keep it. Probably helps you to pretend you really care. Well, what are you, a saint? It's like watching tornado coverage on the news. You know you should feel bad, but then you just change the channel and thank God it wasn't you. You know what the execs call you employees? Care bears. You know what they call you? Snow White. Because you're so bored and disengaged that you might as well be dead. Snow White? <laughs> Dave called you Sasquatch, but he never made any sense. Dave. <laughs> you know Dave slept on my couch one night? Yeah. Company Christmas party two years ago. Dave. Designated driver Dave gets so sloshed, he calls a cab climbs inside and can't remember where he lives. The hotel gave him my address since I'm the guy who paid for the party. He shows up in my house and he's got no idea he's at the wrong place. He waltzes in on my wife and me, so we take him out and put him on the couch. Next morning we get up, he's gone without a trace. Blankets folded up the whole bit, like he was never there. Hey, he never said a word about it, and neither did I. But every Christmas, there's a plate of sugar cookies arrives on our doorstep. Little reindeer sugar cookies. And I know it's Dave Brain. That's not Dave. It's accounting. But they put eye drops in them. Diarrhea. That explains a lot. Oh, I know. It's just the worst thing ever, isn't it?
Let's do it. I'm in here. We're trying to get you down. There's a power outage a block away, and it looks like it might be Just alive. open the damn door. You're between floors, sir. Even if we could. Isn't there anything you know how to do? Sir, I'm trying my... You're fired! That's what you are! Hello? Hey. Hello, come back here! Hello? Like this. The wall, it's not as big as my face. You gotta push harder. <laughs> Ow! You little run. Whoa, 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 whoa! Almost started to pee. <sighs> Think of someone else. Think about cars. What kind of car do you think she drives? What's she do, Chief? She's a harpist in the orchestra. So she's got to drive something big enough to haul the harp around. She's what? 35? 32. A young, poor musician. It's got to be used. A 2001 Volvo wagon. No, her husband's a, a computer programmer. So we do have a little money. Hmm. A Ram Rover? Could be. Ten bucks says it's red. Why? Musicians love red. Passionate artists, dressed in black all the time. Whenever they can, they choose red. Says who? Says... studies. <laughs> I bet her car is black, because she's conditioned to like black. I bet it's brown. Look at her hair color. She's kept it natural. How about you, Dr. Moneybags? Mm, I'll say white. Not off-white. Pure white, you know. Like heaven. <laughs> Here we go. Look, let's be honest. God, white beard, angels. Isn't that the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard? Is there anything about our existence that isn't ridiculous? Sure there is. Let's assume the universe existed only as random chaos and 14 billion years ago there was a big bang and out of it came planets and stars and vegetables and cavemen and the five of us all sitting right here in this elevator is that possible you bet it is and is it also crazy yeah because i don't care how any of us got here it's mind-blowing incredible and grand all right a beautiful young wife whose heart is being strangled now explain that and a loving god to me on this fine christmas eve i can't i'll tell you what i can explain one summer evening when i was 10 I was playing outside because my parents were fighting. The sun was going down, and I turned around to look at my house, and I had this feeling, as clear as anything, that God knows who I am. It wasn't like, here's the whole story, or now it's us against them. It was just... know this 
know this one thing. And uh, I could never deny what I felt at that moment. And hanging on to it gets me past the things that I don't understand. I don't know everything. But it doesn't mean I don't know anything. Yeah. Yeah, we're almost down to the main. That's great. Not too deep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll get, I'll get right back. Mr. Cooper. Okay. Mrs. Lopez. ¿Dónde está mi esposo? We're halfway between floors. The top of our elevator's got to be no more than 10 feet from the next floor. Why not just break the bottle to get the coin out? You can't break the bottle. Well, can you melt it? No, because you can't alter the condition of the bottle in any way. Hey, can you give me a boost, big guy? <clears throat> OK. Uh, let's play charades. Uh, yeah. I'll go first. <clears throat> it's a movie. Yes. Two words. There's no light coming from the other floors. No way to tell how far the next one is. A horse? A, a, a deer? Deer hunter? Ow, ow, ow. It's a dog! Even if you could get up there, <laughs> doors probably wouldn't open with the power out. Benji? No, I already said the deer hunter. Old Yella. Yeah. So how did he get that? Saddest movie ever. Scarred me for life. I loved it. Saddest thing you can think of? Go. A puppy in a full body cast, and he's crying. And in the reflection of one of the tears, there's a unicorn, and he's starving to death. Hmm. It's hard to top that. Yes, it is. A boy who eats his best friend. Ew. Um, a bunny who falls down a well and no one can save him because... Everyone's been eaten. Your turn, Einstein. Saddest thing ever. Well, there was a scientist who lived 300 years ago who wanted to figure out how much the Earth weighed. And he theorized a series of measurements that could be taken using pendulums, weights, and counterweights. He spent years building his ingenious contraption, and then he died. He knew exactly how to get the answer, but he never got to know it. Everything that has ever occurred Everything that ever will occur is subject to laws that are knowable. And with enough of that knowledge, you could literally understand everything. And to live in recognition of that gulf between what is knowable, which is everything, and what we actually know, which is almost nothing, well, that's more than sad. It's the ultimate human tragedy. You know the problem with this company? Global energy is a big challenge, right? So we think we got to be a big company. So we end up big and slow and old fashioned. No way to stay ahead of the curve when you're built like an aircraft carrier. Yeah, that's the worst place to be, though, ahead of the curve. Why? <sighs> Everyone is always focusing on energy sources. I mean, you can get energy from anything water, corn, dead dinosaurs, but. It's the delivery of energy that poses the greatest opportunity. And pff, it's simple. You mean microgrids? Oh. Like fiber optic? Nope. What? What is this, your magnum opus? Check it out. Is your idea? I said it was simple. Why haven't you shared this with anyone? I'm in tech support, or 
ever was. Plus, it's not fully thought out yet. I mean, I can deliver energy straight to your front porch, but if you've got a house with Stone Age circuitry, well, that's where the magic ends. Well, who says you need to go inside the house? Make them go out and get it. Not the people, the gadgets. They want a second extension. One way or another, somebody's gonna be hung out to dry, and it ain't gonna be me. Call the fixer. Get the names of all the other competitors. Take out separate lawsuits. Get Ilman back from his honeymoon. He can help. And find the name of Kelso's favorite restaurant. Buy it. If we can't wind it down him, let's make damn sure no other bugger can. Show me what's underneath that cell. Yeah. Think about the clogger. I hate the clogger. How much do you hate them? Ugh! Clogging in the morning, clogging in the evening, clogging things must die. He clogs for the girl in 43. But you know what? She's not a lover. She's a fighter. <laughs> We're not making copies today. She's got a jaw steel, ladies and gentlemen. Show me what's underneath that cell. What a heart of glass. What does that mean? That heart gets broken. Ain't nobody gonna come in. Okay, you know what? I'm I'm done. I'm I'm just I want my stupid candy bar, okay? <laughs> Alright. You earned it. I kind of hate you. Hola, Jorge. Hola, corazón. Qué gozo es verte. <laughs> eh, te traje tamales. De puerco. Ay, ay, no, no. Ah, oh, bueno, señor, muy bien, entiendo. Electricidad muy fuerte. Saboroso. <risa> Feliz Navidad. Felices. I don't want them scared stiff. I want them scared into action. These people, they aren't tough. They're weak people trying to act tough. They're wasting my time. <laughs> Those are down to make it last, but if her vitals drop, you're gonna have the mother of all lawsuits on your hands. I'm gonna have the mother of all divorces on my hands if I don't get out of here soon. I promised my wife I'd take her to the Met tonight, some Christmas Eve art thing. <laughs> Just go in the corner. Not in here, you don't. Let me show you a trick. Uh, I don't think that'll handle the volume. I got a rotation in Eastern medicine. I'm gonna show you how to block out pain with your mind. Stick this into my neck. controls the body. The body serves the mind. Through the mind, into the body. So Shh. 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 
my body is hereby denied permission to feel pain. My mind has not authorized it. My mind has not deemed it so. <clears throat> right here. All at once. Karen, can you hear me? Try not to move. Heart rate is climbing. Probably from somebody screaming. Karen, I want you to relax. Can you hear me? Where's my husband? After several days, officials changed the mission from one of rescue to recovery. But friends and family held out hope, staging a candlelight vigil in the building's lobby, mere feet from where the group were last seen. And it's a regular sized coin. Regular sized coin, regular sized bottle, regular sized cork. Not a time travel thing. So, um, what, what, do they, what do they mean? Oh, uh, lots of things. Uh, this one's for my grandpa. Mm. This one's my mom. This is my goldfish, Mr. Sunday. He still hasn't figured out what he wants to say. Um, what, what about a, um, one? One. That one's complicated. Oh, it's beautiful. Who's it for? A friend. Hey, uh, your girlfriend? Not anymore. Is that water? You have water? Yes. I think we should give it to Jacob. I'm all right for now. I think we should save it. In case we're trapped in a smaller, hotter elevator someday? Maybe Jacob's right. Maybe we should save it. Criminy! I'll give you $20 for it. I'll give you $100 for it. Since when do you have 100 bucks? We'll save it for later. Christmas Eve, solo performance. What do you play? I'll be home for Christmas. <laughs> Bean Crosby, better than Beethoven. <laughs> Got similar chord progressions. 
Not sure what Ludwig would bring in the lyrics. I'm dreaming tonight of a place I love even more than I usually do. And although I know it's a long way back, I promise you. I'll be home for Christmas You can count on me Please have snow and mistletoe And presents on the same delivery system you're talking about, but we apply it to both sides, doubling its efficiency. What about rural areas? You know, places that don't draw that much power. I... Maybe we could sell the Midwest back to the French. Mm. Well, we could offset the difference with a bigger push from the primary? No, 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 no. We're making it too complicated. The beauty of it was its simplicity, right? How do we turn a rural area's remoteness into a benefit? Hello, is there anybody there? I need to reach my son. I have to tell him that. I don't expect him to understand. I certainly don't expect him to forgive me. But he ought to know that I know that I screwed up. Oh, I've got a lot of stuff. That's not what we have. You, your mum and me in a one-bedroom flat in North London. Archway. You probably don't remember it. But we were rich. <sighs> All this other stuff. It's nothing. They, they dress you up. They tell you you can buy everything you want. Act like you own the world. But that isn't it. We were rich. James. Jim. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm really
feel anything, Karen? No. I can't feel my chest. Your sternum is held together with staples, so it's important that you hold very still. How'd it go? The tumor did a lot of damage. Much more than we could see on the MRI. That's not good, Karen. Am I gonna die? You probably have a few weeks. Maybe a month. Do I have to spend the rest of it in here? This all seems very strange, I know, but um, you'll be out of here soon and back together with your husband. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell him. Why not? Well, he, he already knows too much about everything. He, he doesn't need to know this. Don't we have to tell him? Legally, she's the only one we have to inform. I'm not seeing enough what's happening to me. Dr. Robert. Yes? I need something from you. What's that, Karen? I need you to pray for me. So I'll be sure to say I you. want you to pray for me now. Karen, I don't think that a prayer I'm not gonna... asking for a miracle, Doc. Dear God, if you're there. He's there. God, he's there. We have a woman here. They have a name. Karen is very sick. Be honest, Doc. Would you let me do this? Karen is going to die. She has a tumor on her heart, and there's nothing that we can do about it. So if there's anything that you can do, please do it. She's going to be in a lot of pain, and her husband is going to need help. Her family and friends. And all of us. We all need to know something. Not everything, just something. Amen. 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 You should have prayed for the elevator too, Chief. Well, Dimples, if they haven't figured it out by now, they ain't gonna figure it out till morning. And so, don't let bed bugs bite. Got any more candy bars? I wish. No. You changed me. I what? Well, you wanted to prove I was beautiful, and the first thing you did was change my hair and makeup. Okay, that's called putting your best foot forward. I believe the Greeks invented that. Well, if you really thought I was beautiful, you could have just taken my picture. I'm sorry, uh, whose photo was it that I just took about 300 times? <laughs> Someone you made me pretend to be. No, that was you. I took those pictures of you. If waking you up and welcoming you back to the rest of us is wrong, then you can lock me up and throw away the key. Because when some East Villager 
with non-prescriptive lenses in his glasses, makes concentric circles of elephant shit on a canvas and calls it art. I thank, I thank Monet. I thank him for painting lily pads instead of the dead carp floating on top of the pond. I lost my metaphor. <laughs> but you know where I'm coming from. And I think you liked it. I think I want to take some more pictures. Yeah, I, I, uh, I just want to say, uh, I'm not afraid to eat you guys, if that's what it comes down to. I think I figured out why you're still single, Walt. There are no secrets in elevators. Well, then. I cheated on my music theory final at Juilliard. Oh. I have flowers sent to me after every concert. I'm the one who farted. Ow! That could be no retribution. It's a confession. Depends on what you think. We should shoot the door open. And then what? Shoot our way through the brick wall? Maybe we'll be near an opening. Huh? Okay. Give me some room. Uh, wait a minute. Wait. What about a ricochet? This is a really bad idea. Don't do it, Don. I'll give you my water. Forget the water. Open the damn door. Don't give up your water, Kendra. Maybe we should all just have a sip. What? Are we in Africa? Uh, it's Kendra's water. She should do what she likes. Uh, everyone who thinks the water should remain a symbol of hope, raise your hand. This is ridiculous. It's her water. Shoot the damn door! Shut up! Or I'll pour it out. Okay, fine. Okay. I will put the gun away. But I get to choose the next song. I want to hear Silent Night. And I want Mandy to play it. About halfway down, mm -hmm. the big black one that looks like it should be pushed. Yeah. And then push it again to take a picture. Right. OK, you ready? You're so pleased with yourself. <laughs> well, wouldn't you be? I guess I deserve that. Yes. OK, so let's see you work it. Okay. Come on, dimples. Show me some emotion. Ooh, all right. You're the ice cream. Crack the shell. Oh, oh, there it is. That's really nice. Have you done this before? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this mascara really brings out your eyes. Really nice look on you. I don't know why you're making me do this. Yes, you do. 3.141592653588. Hello? Hey! Hello? You guys okay? Um, Static. Yeah. yeah. We're yeah. about to splice a broken power line. It might get a little bumpy. I'll check back in a bit, see if you need anything. All okay. right, sure. Actually, we kind of need something right now. Well, what's that? Well, we've got a wine bottle, an empty yeah. wine bottle, and there's a coin in it. And we want to get the coin out without removing the cork. Couldn't you just push the cork down into the bottle, then pour the coin out? Uh, yeah. That might work. <sighs> Thanks. <laughs> the distances posed by rural areas are no longer an issue. Hey, security, anybody in there? No, no, nobody here. We're, we're fine. Distances are irrelevant, <laughs> as long as the system itself remains unchanged. I, I mean, that's pretty simple, right? Right? Slap me in the face. Slap me in the face. I feel like I'm having a dream where I'm stuck inside an elevator revolutionizing world energy. How about we slap each other at the same time to be sure? Great. I'll count. One, two, three. Ow! <laughs> I still see it. I still see it too. We're not dreaming. We're not dreaming. <laughs> oh my gosh, your life. <laughs> Do 
better than that. What kind of art thing were you doing tonight? Uh, a Christmas benefit. Mm -hmm. Abstract art in a post-abstract world. Well, why don't you give us the tour? Oh, seriously, we want to see it. Oh, <laughs> I don't think so. I heart art. Nothing better to do. <sighs> right. Hmm. You seem taller. Really? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Metropolitan Museum of Art and our newest exhibit, Abstract Art in a Post-Abstract World. The French art critic André Gide famously stated that art is a collaboration between God and the artist, and the less the artist does, the better. So, with that in mind, let's take a look at some of the finest collaborations in the sunset of the movement itself. Leading off, our exhibit is a piece entitled War Cry. Based on the title, the viewer might expect to be presented with a traditional battle scene, but is instead presented with the image of a mirror painted on a large chunk of cardboard. The image itself doesn't reflect anything. So the viewer has to complete the piece in their own imagination. What is it they want to see? What are they afraid to see? And if there is a war cry, then where is the war? Well, perhaps it's in that location common to us all, the human psyche, that sacred place where we decide what we'll fight for and what we'll run from. Moving on now to our largest exhibit. It's a concrete wall. It's 12 feet high, 20 feet long. And on the left-hand side of the wall, a single word, history, written some 70,000 times, varying in size and shape. They seem to be vying for space, pushing and shoving, hoping to be noticed, hoping to be remembered. But the right-hand side of the wall, the blank side, is just as much a piece of art as the left side. Is the blank side the future? One suspects, yes. Because all 70,000 histories are written upside down, forcing us to read them upside down, and thus capsizing the importance of the past. And if you focus solely on the past, it threatens to become our present, or perhaps even our future. Our next piece is a sculpture entitled Figurehead. I like it. It calls to mind the figureheads that adorned ancient sailing ships, most often wooden carvings of women or, or mythical gods. This figurehead gives few clues as to the precise being underneath. Get in, I'm in. Oh! There are hints of a, an overall shape. Perhaps a woman, possibly trying to emerge. It's impossible to tell, of course, because it's hidden under layer upon layer of thick paint, rendering it almost formless. So what's really underneath all the paint? No, we don't know. Don't you want to know? Well, once a mystery is scheduled for solution, it's no longer a mystery, is it? It's a problem. favorite piece and one I really can't wait to show you is this one here it has no title and the artist refused to sign it not wishing to influence its interpretation but the unique size of canvas the colors the variety of media leave it all as open to interpretation as possible 
I wouldn't even know how to describe it if you asked me to. Because it defies every attempt at description and categorization. I doubt the artist could even reproduce it if you asked him. Mi amor. Viaja. Art at its very best. Whatever that is. Well, that concludes our tour. I'd like to thank you all for being with us this evening, and the exhibition is now yours to explore. My head hurts. It's working. So, Karen, what are you going to do when you get out? Um, play my harp a lot. <laughs> Eat chocolate cake every night. Go for some long drives. Whoa! <sighs> Got up too fast. Is he okay? He'll be fine. But I don't think he has to go pee anymore. Hmm. So, Karen, what kind of car will you be driving on those long drives? You know, um, I had an old Chevy Blazer for a long time. Drove that thing everywhere. But I got stolen a couple years ago, so I, I just bought a used Volvo. It's okay, I guess. It's functional. Mostly I bought it for its color. What color is it? Come to think of it, it's time for an oil change. I won't ever have to change the oil again, will I? Or pay taxes. Or clean the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's green. Hello? Oh. oh, thank you. That's wonderful news. Five more minutes. Yeah, we've heard that before. I choose to believe it. Everything's going to be OK. Back to normal. A normal Christmas. I don't know about you guys. I'm not going back to normal. No, anything worse than being stuck in this elevator is being stuck in third chair. When I get out of here, I'm going to try out for first. Mm. Go Marta. And I'm done playing for the dead guys. Not another note until it's something I wrote myself. And I'm calling Juilliard and telling them I cheated. And I'm going to visit Karen, see how her surgery went. And how about you, Mandy? I really don't know what I'm going to do. And I ain't making no resolution. Come on, oh, no, tough guy. Walter, yeah, 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 yeah. you got to. These are great. Mm -hmm. They're all you, dimples. <laughs> so, do you work with other photographers, or have your own studio, or what? I work uh, at the morgue, actually taking pictures of dead people for city records and whatnot. No kidding. No kidding. But sometimes they wear makeup too. <laughs> Walter, 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 I'm finally gonna profess my love to the woman of my dreams. Hmm. Yeah. 
So who's the lucky dame, big guy? Don. I always knew you had beady eyes for me, Walter. Okay, if I keep the Backstreet Boys sheets on my bed? As long as you're between them. <laughs> oh, brother. Christmas. I was gonna say, maybe you should try climbing on the top. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that when this is finally over, if we're not two dead people, <laughs> then we should. Uh... Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Thank you! We love you! Oh, 6 a.m. What's everybody gonna do now? I'm gonna go for a jog. And then a donut. I wanna go to bed. And a movie. Hey, Glenn. Next to the art man. Yeah, it was neat. Hmm. And Nick? I just gotta know about... Oh, no. Actually, no. I don't wanna know. Tim, you never told us where you're going. Oh, I'm headed to the hospital. My wife, she had a small tumor removed. Oh, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I hope it went well. No, it's no big deal. We knew what it was, and we knew how to fix it. Call CNN as well. I don't know anything. Mwah! I love you! Uh, Are you okay? Oh. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Been in here a long time. So are we gonna take the stairs the rest of the way? No, my buddy lives a few floors up, so I think I'm going to take my chances with the beast. <laughs> it helps me. Very brave. You know, I never asked you your name. Anne. 
Well, Annie, I think the two of us should probably see each other again relatively quickly. Someplace with a little more real estate. What do you say to that? I have a boyfriend. No kidding. No kidding. Dashing and loaded, <laughs> I assume. He's in tech support. Does he have any idea how beautiful you are? I do. Bring it in. Oh. <laughs> Hello. One, two, three. Well, I gotta go. Two, See you guys. Get home safe. Big deal. Well, looks like I'm going like this. Fantastic. Hey, happy birthday and Merry Christmas. I'm so sorry I missed the party last night. Oh my gosh, don't worry about it. I, I didn't make it either. Look, I'll see you soon and I'll tell you all about it, but. You are never gonna believe what happened to me. Try me.
great for a lesson, yeah? Where have you been? I don't know. the early morning hours of December dreams. My Guadalupe, with big brown eyes, I want to break the spell tonight. Cause we are living in a difficult time. Guys? Guys? 